who better fits the League of Legends card game more than the magic card champion, Twisted Fate? When it comes to moving him from League of Legends to Legends of Runeterra, they specifically showcased one part of his kit and focused mostly on that. Hey everyone, the Skilled Roy here, back with another Legends of Runeterra video. Twisted Fate, the gambler, the scoundrel of Bilgewater, seen in plenty of cinematics such as the original Twist of Fate cinematic all the way back when, and all the way up to the Bilgewater Tales of Runeterra cinematic. TF is pretty iconic. He's been in the game since the alpha of League of Legends, although back then he was an absolute menace, both having the ability to teleport anywhere on the map before level 6, and even having an AoE stun. But nowadays, in League of Legends, he's predominantly known for one of his two main abilities. One is the ability to teleport anywhere within this huge range, and the other is one that actually has three different abilities with inside of it. Pick a card. In League of Legends, pick a card is very interesting. Pressing it the first time will cause a cycle of cards to appear above Twisted Fate's head and start moving from blue to red to gold and then back to blue, and it repeats for a few seconds. Pressing the hotkey again will give you that respective card that you stopped on for your next attack. The blue card will make you deal more damage and give TF some of his mana back. Red card is an AoE damage card centered around where your attack landed, as well as making all the enemies hit by it slowed. And then finally, the gold card, the most famous one, makes your next attack stun the opponent. These three miniature abilities are the core of Twisted Fate, and they are what the Legends of Runeterra team decided to focus on. Twisted Fate in Legends of Runeterra is a 4 mana 2-2 with quick attack, that when you play him, you get to choose between one of three destiny cards. The name Destiny cards actually comes from his ultimate, which also has the same name Destiny, but the rest of the ability is focused around his pick a card ability from League of Legends. Each of these Destiny cards basically acts like a different play effect for TF, giving him a lot of versatility, which is something he's definitely known for in League of Legends. The blue card in this case gives you back one spell mana and draws a card, effectively giving you more resources than you started off with, just like how the blue card works in League of Legends. Next up we have the red card, which deals one damage to all enemies and the opponent Nexus, which is of course just like the AoE damage of red card from League of Legends. Lastly, we have gold card. Gold card stuns the strongest unit on the enemy's board, which is an obvious parallel to the gold card from League of Legends, which allows TF to stun someone. Now even though that's all of what the TF card actually really showcases on his own, there's actually a couple other cards we should know about. One interesting card that is often forgotten about when it comes to TF is the card Loaded Dice. Loaded Dice is a rather interesting spell. For 4 mana at slow speed, whenever you deal damage to the enemy Nexus, you nab 1. This could be a reference to TF's very own passive in League of Legends, which gives him an extra gold for every kill he gets, also named Loaded Dice. It's possible he decided to translate the value of getting small bonuses every kill in League of Legends with the concept of getting a small bonus with every point of damage. It even helps fuel TF's level up condition, which is to draw of course a bunch of cards. Speaking of drawing cards, there's actually another reference to pick a card. You see, even though pick a card effects are clearly showcased on his actual champion card, Riot actually made another card named pick a card, making it a unique case of being represented in two different ways. While the destiny cards are more literal in the adaptation, pick a card showcases a metaphor instead. Pick a card is a two mana burst speed spell that returns one card from your hand to your deck to draw two more fleeting cards next turn. Now, this is actually a nerfed version of the card, so I'm going to address the original as it was probably closer to what they intended from a flavor perspective. The original pick a card was a 3 mana spell that shuffled in a card to draw 3 fleeting cards instead. This is really interesting. By sending a card back to the deck, you are effectively paying the cost to cast pick a card, just like in League of Legends where you have to invest a little bit of mana to start the roulette. And then, by getting the 3 fleeting cards, it showcases the rapidly shifting cards that you have to choose between in League of Legends, one for each color. Finally, the last part, we're going to talk about something a little interesting. TF actually has the quick attack keyword, which, given his substantial strength in Legends of Runeterra, might feel a little extra. But one possible reason he has quick attack is actually possibly a reference to his E in League of Legends. His E in League of Legends is stacked deck, which gives him a passive bonus attack speed, therefore making his quick attack seem like a pretty obvious choice there. Some pieces of his kit aren't yet in the game. His Q in League of Legends, Wild Cards, throws out three cards as projectiles, dealing damage to everyone it passes through. And of course, one of his most iconic parts of his kit is his ultimate. His ultimate in League of Legends, Destiny, reveals the locations of all enemies, and then allows him to teleport within a large range. This mobility and information gathering is honestly a really cool place to draw inspiration from. If you guys could design a custom card, what do you guys think his Q and his ultimate might look like? Let me know in the comments below and I'll take a look at them. 
Anyway, that's all for me. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Next up will be episode four of Rift to Rune Terra. Who would you guys like me to cover next? Anyways, I will see you all next time. Thank you again once more. Peace out.